Maxwell's secret origins revealed in Justice League issue 12. Acting as a tie-in to the Justice League vs Suicide Squad event, Justice League issue 12 also doubles as a rebirth issue of sorts for Maxwell Lord, a character who has barely been around during the New 52 and the beginning of Rebirth and is only now stepping out of the shadows to lead the original Suicide Squad, whom he released from prison. This issue is used to catch everyone up on what Lord has been up to for the most of the time during the New 52 and Rebirth, and it actually does a really good job of it. I never paid much attention to what Max was up to when he first appeared, mainly because he was in that terrible OMAC book that lasted for about 5 seconds. So having this set up where he's been, as well as telling us about this version of him, not the pre-Flashpoint version, this is the New 52 sort of take on him, it adds great background to his motives in the main Justice League vs Suicide Squad event book and we see how he comes to discover who the lost prisoners are and the mysterious item that Waller has at Belle Reve. It doesn't just show what he's been doing between big events like Darkseid's attack on Earth, we also see some of Max's childhood and the death of his father and how his mother was the one who really molded him into this compassionless monster which helped with his meteoric rise through the ranks of Checkmate. They continue to use the next couple of issues of Justice League to build up Max's past and who he is and maybe who some of the other villains that are on his team are. I think we'll be in for some pretty cool issues in the coming weeks. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a comment in the comment section below or follow the links on screen now to other reviews or topic videos. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe for more weekly reviews and videos.